All right, I think we have one more. Galatians chapter 4, verse 8. It says, But then indeed, when you did not know God, you served those which by nature are not gods. I'm looking at this right here. How, what's the inflection here? Click on uh, the verse. Here it is. Theois. Click on that again. How many times? It's only used once, guys. So I just showed you in the various videos all the English translations of the Bible that we use, not the New World Translation, not these other false Bibles. I'm going to King James, go to ESV. I don't care what translation you pick. You know, accredited scriptures are using the, 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 the English word small g-o-d righteously while capitalizing G-O-D for John 1.1 1, 1, in reference to the Father and the Son. The Word was with the Father and the Word was the Father. Or the Word was with God, the Supreme Divine Being, and the Word was the Supreme Divine Being. So he's with himself and he is himself all at the same time. First John chapter 3.16 Great is, uh, 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 w without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was made manifest in the flesh. The supreme divine person was made manifest in the flesh. So I believe there is consistent, consistency here. Never are these words used for small gods, false gods, um, engraven images, demonic spirits, are these words ever used to refer to the Father or the Son in the New Testament? And that is not accidental. That is evidence showing that the Father, the Son, are the same God. I hope you're enjoying this. There's really nothing else to study. Uh, I mean, we can go into more, but these are the uh, small gods taken out of the way so you guys can see has no bearing no relationship um with the father and the son shalom